Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Sunday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing? In every storm, in every decision making, yes, God promised, he says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come like thy dwelling. Welcome this morning, let's give him a big hand. God bless you richly and sincerely from my heart. I release that very special blessing upon your life today in this country, in this nation, around the world. I pray those who are listening thing this morning I release that blessing upon your life and I pray that God will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally every area in your life and whatever you do with your two hands it shall prosper let me break it down this morning I pray that God will bless your home God will bless your homes God will bless your child God will bless your children. He will bless you, bless your finances. He will bless your business. He will bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. This morning, I cover everyone under the precious blood. I cover this nation, Guyana, under the blood. I cover the all Guyanese under the blood. I cover all other people under the blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life today every spirit of witchcraft obia demonic forces evil blights generational curses bullyism I destroy under the precious blood I break every chain I break every buyer I reverse every curses with a first second third or fourth generation of curse I destroy under the blood of Jesus for whom the son set free is free indeed you are free this morning in the mighty name of Jesus let's give him a big hand today hallelujah Jesus said in his words healing is the children bread and the first covenant he make with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus name praise God thank you for healing he is the healer of our soul he is the healer of our body he is the healer of our country he is the protector today in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name this Sunday morning I pray father you deeper this man of God on in in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit, uh, born out every sickness, uh, born out every pain, born out every disease, born out every infirmities, uh, born out every evil and every work of darkness. Uh, as I minister your words, your words this morning, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name praise God this morning praise God thank you Jesus have you ever been in a situation where you felt emotional pain emotional pain is a terrible thing my friends and beloved we know that we need to guard our heart yes my friends the Bible tells us about a man a king named David 
He was a man after God's own heart. Yes, David was a king after God's own heart, but yet he sinned in so many ways. What a strange thing today, my friends. Yes, David commit adultery. Yes, he murdered. He did so many wrong, but yet he was considered a man after God's own heart. When David was supposed to be in the battlefield fighting, he was on top of his roof. Yes, in the balcony porch. Yes, there he was looking down and he saw the woman Bathsheba big bathing naked she was so beautiful and he looked and he looked again and he lost after that woman he sent for her and he committed adultery when she became pregnant he want to cover his sins so one of his captain one of his men in the army who name was Uriah yes he was there in the army in the battlefield fighting and he called his captain and says I want you to bring Uriah home and he called Uriah and says Uriah you go home to your wife but he was trying to cover up his sins but Uriah know in the battlefield his colleagues were fighting a, a, a fierce war and he says no I will not go in so he did not go in to his wife he slept at the doorstep of his house and when when David saw what he was doing, he was angry, and he, he told his captain, and he, make, he sent a note to the captain, and he says, I want you to put Uriah in the front line of the battle, and Uriah was not trained to be in the front line, and he was setting up to be killed, and so when Uriah went on the front line, yes, he was killed, he was killed, so what David did, he committed adultery, he tried to cover his sins, yes, and he, he killed, and he murdered Uriah. Yet the Bible says he was considered a man after God's own heart. My friends, our heart is sinful and desperately wicked. But I will dive into it this morning and let you understand what God looks for in our heart, my friends. A repentant heart, a heart that is after God. My friends, have you ever been in a situation like David, like King David, or any other situation today, my friends? Hallelujah. People have done many people wrong. I know in my life, lots of people who I trusted try to destroy my ministry, try to destroy my life, try to destroy my future because of greed, because of jealousy, because they wanted what I have. Yes, my friends, there are wicked people in this world, but do not commit sin because of those wicked people who are covering the tracks because of their position. Yes, my friends, God says to guard our heart. Have you ever been in a situation like this, my friends and beloved? Have you ever been in a situation like this where you felt emotional pain, emotional pain, or maybe where you feeling your feelings have been have been hurt so many times? Perhaps when you found yourself in that predicament, you overreacted or you react in a way that you weren't proud of. Yes, my friends, I've heard people excuse their actions by saying, by saying in touch, in touch a nerve. And I guess what I'm trying to say this morning is what makes you react, act the way you react in certain, in certain situations. What is it that makes you quick to get angry, my friends, today? Or what makes you easily fall into a state, into a state of depression? where you do these emotions or these reactions come my friends come when it come come from where it come from my dear friend let me tell you that a lot of our actions this morning stems from what is in our hearts what is in our heart a lot of what we say my friends is based on what is in our hearts and, and, and all of the things the Bible tells us uh, is to protect or to guard your and to God. I find it interesting that we are calling to guard our heart today. Yes, my friends, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says, uh, yes, above all else, uh, above all else, guard your heart. Uh, guard your heart for everything you do. Everything you do flows uh, 
flows from it, my friends. And it is first, I struggle to understand this, my friends. Why the heart? Why the heart? Why not your mind, your eyes, your lips, or something else? Yes, beloved and friends, what is about what is about the heart today that requires it to be singled out this morning with instructions to guard it? Yes, so let, let's take a look at it this morning. A human being, a human being is made up of three parts, the spirit, the spirit, the soul and the body. Now the heart is found in the soul, the heart, which is the seat, which is the seat of emotions. It's the seat, my friends, of affections. It's the center of human personality, the will, the will, the reasoning, the intellect, yes, memory, and yes, and conscience, and conscience. In fact, I like to describe it this way this morning. The heart, the heart is an arena. Arena, an arena, arena, it's the center of everything a believer needs to guard concerning their lives. Beloved and friends, it's a battleground this morning where all the fights in our life take place. Yes, the fight between good and evil, it takes place in your heart today. The fight between God, God and earthly, earthly things. Yes, it take place in your heart today. My friends, the fight to wake up early and pray. Yes, to stay up late to pray. Yes, to spend time in the word of God. All of these are issues that are dealt with with the heart today my friends and so when you think of your heart as an arena this morning you appreciate not everything must be allowed to land land in that in that space in that space so this morning here is why i believe we are told to guard our heart guard our heart because God wants to land, land in the arena of our heart. Praise God. He wants to sit on the throne of our heart today. Praise God. And so does the devil. So does the devil. And let me tell you, and so do you today with your own will, with your own will, with your own selfish, selfish desire, cookish ways. This is why we are instructed to guard, to defend, to be a warden warden of the gateway that is that is your heart today keep your heart with all diligence and with other in translation says with all diligence for from it from it this morning flow the springs the springs of life deep from the heart today defend your heart my friends because it's what will direct you through life your emotions your will and your reasoning you so guard the heart guard the heart this morning because that's the engine that's the engine that's the, the motives and the molds you this that molds you this becomes some total this morning of who you are my friends hallelujah so with all this in mind this morning let's go to god in prayer let's pray today together this morning heavenly father let's pray together we thank you father right now this morning for every for another opportunity to praise you another opportunity this morning to worship you the father another opportunity this morning to fellowship with you the father in prayer this morning and lord as we come to you right now we come we come asking you to help us guard our heart heart hearts lord lord fill us fill our hearts with your word fill our hearts with with your spirit today help us to be vigilant against every force of evil today and every cunning lie every cunning lie of man god help us to be in the world yes but not of the world not of it help us to be in this world but not love it today empower us this morning to be a strong godly influence in this world rather than us to be influenced or influenced by this this world lord jesus help us to be the salter 
in this or today yes help us to be light light of the world and not darkness your word says in philippians chapter 4 verse 8 clearly tells us finding brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble yes whatever is right yes whatever is pure today whatever is lovely yes whatever is admirable yes if any anything is excellent or praise worthy this morning think about such things think about such things lord i pray that i will not be like a sponge that observe all the filter of this world no father lord and lord instead let me be like a mirror this morning let me be like a mirror that reflects your goodness your goodness for everyone to see praise god let's each and all of us be like the mirrors that reflect your love today lord yes our prayers is that you will create clean hearts within us clean heart within us renew a right spirit within within this morning within us give us the grace to make our ways pure before your your sight this morning whenever sinful desires start creeping in oh father give us give us the strength king jesus lord jesus to resist the devil and father this morning i pray that you will forgive me forgive us at all times let the things get in my heart that may end up hindering my walk with you oh father and i know that these things these things they only destroy me physically spiritually emotionally yes if if i continue to hold on to them oh father so god i'm asking you to give me the awareness the awareness to recognize those things recognize those things give me the strength to get get rid of them today father i know that you've told me in your word in your word to guard my heart guard my heart and soul lord i ask that the holy spirit will speak to me and help me this morning to be the gatekeeper of my heart yes lord help me to let nothing nothing enter except what is godly what is pure what is pleasing in your eyes oh father your word says in james chapter 4 verse 8 draw near to god and he will draw near to you praise god cleanse your hands these sinners and purify your hearts you double-minded wicked person god give us hearts that seeks only to be closer closer to you this morning i know that from my heart oh flow the springs of life today so help me to guard it with my life give me a hunger to open your word daily O oh father and to simply simply soak soak in your life giving soaking your life giving truth may god may i be filled with your spirit not to be a hypocrite like i no longer stand to be in the presence of anything contrary to your will yes so father second timothy chapter 2 verse 21 says it says Therefore, if anyone cleanse himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use. O Father, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house. O Father, ready for every good, every good work this morning. Father, thank you for setting me apart you've called me out of this wicked and evil world evil generation you've shown me the joy yes that comes with falling falling and obeying and doing the truth and doing the right things i delight in you father today and i pray that you will have mercy on me today father i thank you i thank you for your mercy this morning i and i thank you for giving me a fresh start yes i know that i fall short of the glory of god almighty but i also know that there is no heart that is too damaged or too broken this morning there is no heart that is too stained by sin this morning that can't be washed 
clean, clean in the blood of Jesus Christ, in the blood of the Lamb, all glory be to Christ Jesus this morning forever and ever, yes, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, praise God, thank you, Jesus, oh, glory be unto your name, oh, Father, yes, above all is God, our oh, heart this morning, oh, Father, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, praise God, as you mature in Christ, my friends, this morning, as you grow and deeper develop in your knowledge of God, the Holy Spirit will work within you to broaden your horizons this morning and shift shift your perspective. Yes, Second Timothy chapter two tells us to the, chapter two verse twenty one says, <coughs> therefore. <coughs> If anyone cleanse himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy this morning, useful to the master for the house. O oh, Father, ready, ready for every good worker. And this, this, this Bible tells us in commentary says the following regarding 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 21 tells us God will set you apart, God will set you apart, God will anoint you and will you will be lifted for the master's use, then God will begin to use you and that really is what it's all about today, is it isn't about be use of God my friends to touch some life today, to be use of God to share his love today, to be used of God this morning as an instrument. That's what life is all, my friends, about. God begins to prepare you through the word and through prayer, through your experiences. They are all, my friends, a part of God's necessary preparation this morning. Yes, Paul wrote to the Ephesians and said, he said clearly, you are his, you are his his workmanship God has already for ordain that service that he wants you to accomplish for his glory hallelujah but he has he has to force of all work in you preparing you yes so that the experiences that I go through that I go through the hardships the difficulties the testings the trials and the tribulation the sorrows they are all a part of God's necessary preparation as he is seeking seeking to prepare the vessel to be used by the master as he empties me of myself that he might fill me with his fullness his fullness that no longer live for my own glory but I live I live now for his glory hallelujah that I serve him in such a way that it brings glory to him it brings glory to him this is why the Bible says in Matthew, Matthew chapter 5 verse 1 to 1, 16, let your light so shine before men that when they see your good, when they see your good works, they will glorify your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. As you experience the love of Jesus Christ today, my friends, this Sunday morning, Christ, as you experience a deep and rewarding relationship perspective what is your perspective this morning as a believer in Christ that's a great question I ask this question because at some point at some point in your walk with the Lord as you know him more and more my friends beloved relatives family you have to shift your perspective from God take me here take me over there too yes Lord Jesus I I thank you for how far you brought me today. I thank you because you preserve me. I no longer where I used to be warming the benches perspective your perspective goes from always asking and always seeking 
always seeking to receive from God and it shifts to you my friends always seeking to serve him yes your prayer your prayer becomes Lord how can I serve you how can I serve you Lord make me a vessel for your use we can never repay the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for us on the cross of Calvary we could never find the appropriate words this morning to fully express how thankful we are for his amazing grace today for his everlasting mercy and uh, yes province this morning now beloved it is my belief this morning that all we can offer to the Lord today as a sign of gratitude this morning is our lives give our lives as we can offer Jesus Christ this morning is is all ourselves we cannot repay him we cannot compensate the Lord or do anything to equal his sacrifice today but I tell you this morning beloved the least we can do is serve him today the least we can do this morning is to become a servant a servant of the Lord now let us let us this morning pray let us pray again Heavenly Father I praise you for your awesome power today in grateful and grateful for your provision over our lives thank you for the mighty privilege of being able to come before you this Sunday morning seeking your guidance and direction over my life Lord Jesus we want to be a vessel of honor today for you father we are joining together in prayer this morning because we want to be of service of service to you father I ask you that you cleanse us from all that is that is dishonorable today although we are marred by sin we repent Lord and ask for your blood to cleanse us this morning cleanse us I come before you with all my failures today tell him I lay all of my mistakes down this morning at your feet Lord Jesus and I ask father that you will shape me shape me I ask that you will mold me this morning make me a pure vessel in your sight today your word your word has promised promise in, in first John this morning morning first John hallelujah 1 9 tells us if we confess our sins if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us cleanse us from all all from unrighteousness please please cleanse us father this morning remove anything from our lives that may prevent us from being a vessel for your kingdom this morning take away all selfishness all jealousy lying deceit gossiping this morning on kindness and an unforgiving unforgiving spirit remove every undermining all the sinful thoughts and tendency that lead us to sin this morning I pray that you will not hide your face from our sins but instead this morning will wash us and cleanse us so that we can be pure and empty this morning vessels vessels we surrender our lives this morning to you the father so that you can mold us mold us and transform us and sanctify us oh father for your purpose fill us with a passion for your word today and draw us close to you in prayers oh father my prayer is that there will be less less of me and more of you more of you in my life i yield my desire my ambitions my plans to you this morning so that you can make me into the vessel that you want me to be work in us heavenly father today and work through us so father holy spirit holy spirit please kindle a desire within me within us worship god and bring glory to him this morning beloved empower me to do the works of him the creator that created me oh father i want your light to reflect through my thoughts today words 
words oh father actions as your vessel lord jesus please help me to demonstrate the fruit of the spirit this fruit of the spirit love joy peace love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith this morning meekness meekness and temperance today in this way oh father others will see the fruit and be drawn to glorify you and surrender their lives to your will O oh father lord jesus you have called us for a purpose each and every one of us we are all ready to be used by you i pray that the holy spirit will do a mighty work in us and prepare us O oh father and enable us to go forward go forward as a powerful powerful witness for your kingdom O oh father thanks in advance for all of the good work this morning you are doing in our lives oh father i praise you lord jesus i will be sure to testify on your eternal goodness towards me oh father in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name i pray i pray hallelujah thank you jesus i pray today therefore if anyone cleanse him from the dishonorable yes what the bible tells us god can cleanse us hallelujah one of the most touching songs i've ever heard my friends says this morning i'd rather have jesus than silver and goal yes I'd rather have Jesus I'd rather have him than riches on toll isn't that so I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands yes I'd rather be led I'd rather be led by his nail pierced hands praise God saints of God this Sunday morning let me ask you what is the most valuable thing the Sunday morning have you have you what uh, what is the one thing that you cherish above all else today this morning if someone is in this world will say their children are the most valuable thing in their life someone else will, will talk about the business they built from the ground yes up someone will say that others will refer to an inheritance left by parents or a family here here room that passed down from generation to to generation my friends while none of these are wrong to the answers i encourage you to think of the value in the sense of your soul the sense of your soul what or who is in the world could save your soul today who could redeem who could redeem and deliver your soul this morning from the clutches of hell my friends only jesus christ only jesus christ and so if jesus christ is the only one who could save your soul today is he not the most valuable treasure my friends in your heart this morning do you have christ in your heart today my friends do you have the prince of peace in your life today do you walk alongside my friends with the one who walks on water today if you have jesus christ in your life my friends and in your heart today hallelujah you are you are privileged you are privileged you are blessed and highly favored because make no mistakes my friends it is our advantage that we should go we should go to christ that we are the ones that need saving today we are the ones that need need to be redeemed today not him my friends it is our benefit that we should go to go to christ this morning and the beauty of this deal is that jesus christ 
me he promised my friends in Hebrews in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 the Bible says keep your life free from love of money love of money and be content with what you have praise God for he has said he has said I will never leave you nor forsake you 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 in case you don't know my friends you can have money yes but it will not save you yes my friends money will not buy you eternal life it will buy you another Another minute here on earth my friends but if you have Jesus Christ yes if you have Jesus Christ you have eternal life in heaven to look forward to yes my friends nothing on this earth can promise never to leave you nor forsake you yes my friends but Jesus Christ he can he has promised to be with you until the end of the world until the end of age so this morning even if you were to lose lose everything yes you own today my friends you will still be blessed beyond measure this morning be because of that great promise beloved and friends you see i would rather have jesus than silver and or gold praise god because jesus christ love me while i was yet still a sinner yes my friends he loved me despite of my sin regardless of my mistakes today and he is he under deferred by my many 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 flaws that is my friends grace this morning grace grace is sufficient psalms 34 verse 10 says the young lions suffer want and hunger yes those who seek the lord those who seek the lord will never lack any good thing praise god is not awesome now let us let us pray again my friends lord jesus lord jesus you're the lord of lords this morning you are the holy and mighty you are righteous yes and pure today we thank you for saving us oh father you are the most valuable treasure in my heart today oh father because I may lose my health. Yes, I will not be dismayed because, because I still have Jesus. I still have Jesus. I may lose the money I work hard for and save, but even that will not lead me to despair because I still have Jesus. I still have Jesus Christ, the one who promised to never leave me nor forsake me. Hallelujah, the one who promised to be with me through the deeper waters. Hallelujah, I am grateful this morning, this Sunday morning, as your child, I can say this morning, I have Jesus, I have Jesus Christ, I can say greater Greater is he who is within me, within me than he who is in the world. Yes, my friends, Lord, Lord Jesus, as you, as your child this morning, we need, as your children, we need you because only in you do we have eternal life, eternal life only in Jesus. We, we will, our souls find safe, safe refuge today, refuge, we refuge we as your children lord have peace and purpose in this life because of you we may not have riches here on earth beloved and friends but go lord give us the desire and hunger to build and store treasures in heaven today we may not have the relationships we desire today but we have a heavenly father who loves us who loves us today unconditionally lord lord we may not have a perfect health in our bodies today but rather but rather we can stand on your word today and declare but that by your stripes 
by your stripes we are healed by your stripes we are healed in Jesus name thank you Lord for that promise in your word today hallelujah praise God thank you Lord for that promise in your word today I know that many are sick today if you are sick in your bed in your home in the hospitals yes by his stripes we are healed I will pray for you definitely today those who are sick today if you have cancer if you have AIDS you have COVID you have diabetes heart problem liver problem lungs problem kidney problem a blood issue a blood dialysis problem prostate cancer what the case may be if you're blind you're deaf you're dumb you're lame today is your day for a miracle if you're suffering from depression oppression frustration anxiety today god will set you free if you have a migraine headache and you cannot function effectively on your job you're afraid you will lose your job today god will heal you from that migraine headache if you're suffering with diabetes your blood is messed up you just keep and bone God is touching that person's blood right now and healing you completely in the name of Jesus if you're demon possessed this morning and those demons are harassing you I command those harassing demons to leave right now in the name of Jesus this morning where are you looking from if you're looking from the USA the UK Canada the Caribbean Europe or any part of this world today is your day for a miracle today is your day Day for deliverance today is your day for healing today is your day for salvation yes my friends and beloved God would have touched you this morning and set you free this morning in Jesus name because he is a healer of our soul and he is a healer of our body today yes my friends are you ready I'm gonna send for the, the anointing in a few minutes Jesus Christ took 39 stripes upon his back he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed we are healed in Jesus Jesus said, let me go a little further. God who created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul. The same God to the new every part, every joint, every organ, every tissue, every marrow, every bone, every joint. Today is no big deal for him to give you a brand new heart, a brand new lungs, a brand new kidney. That man with a shut down kidney, both kidneys are shut down. You're too old to take a transplant. God is restoring your kidney today that man which has swings up liver you have drank too much alcohol you have a wife and a few kids at home God gonna give you a second chance he's touching that liver right now yes that person with a growth in the stomach it is going right now in the name of Jesus there is a tremendous anointing here this morning through the power of the Holy Spirit beloved God is no respect of persons I know he said in his words we must lay hands of the sick and they shall be healed but God is not limited to that uh, wherever you are today today is your day for healing today is your day for that miracle today is your day for deliverance uh, as I send for the anointing wherever you are right now in church uh, in your living room in your dining room in your kitchen in your car on the street with your phone uh, wherever you are today right now I'm gonna send for the anointing wherever part of the world you in if you're hearing my voice uh, today right now now, prepare to receive your healing right now be here in the name of Jesus be set free with the power of the Holy Spirit I see many are healed many are saved many are delivered many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness beloved and friends it's the power of God it's the work of the Holy Spirit yes write me text me call me I know many have received their healing this morning write me call me text me yes go back and check with the doctors that sickness is gone that pain is gone that migraine headache is gone that cancer is gone if you're feeling a 
heat in your body right now is God. The Holy Spirit is burning out that cancer in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. I must go right now in the name of Jesus. I love you very much in the love of God. Do have a sweet and wonderful day. God bless you richly in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God.